What was your favourite part? My favourite part of the whole two weeks was watching the agents grow develop and just become more independent and show your real talent and showcase yourself. How did, um, how did you find it without Ian and the kids? I miss them, but because it was so much fun and so interesting, I didn't miss them as much as I could. And what are you hoping to bring back to your community? I'm hoping to bring back 10 strong independent leaders who's going to show the rest of the people in their community what people can do and how they can change. Okay. Lily, what was your best part? Going over to start not knowing what we were going into and the young people that were brought over were all unbelievably brilliant. They were a credit to the community and their parents and guardians. They looked after themselves and treated each other with respect. Some of the things we've done over for the first time, like as the boys and girls already said, we went to the Catholic church and the Protestant church. Comment on it. And somebody trying to go in and it. But the group landed brilliant and the group strong. But one of the things that they haven't talked about yet was, I was amazed at how you took the marshal. The first time you've seen Washington in the years, the respect he gave you and the respect you gave him was unbelievable. And for the future, I think you should like to pass the word on to the younger people. And you never know, in more eight years, it could be your brother or sisters could do the same trip. Thanks very much. Well, we'll miss Marshall. Sad to <laughs> Hey, Marshall, do you want anything, do you have anything to say to him? Yeah, you can email him. Right? I don't well, know. That's all we get now. Hey, Marshall. Hey, Marshall. Yeah, we want to get me invited as a reunion probably next year instead of 10 years. Just to show the girls the Yeah, because yeah, we're in this. Keep it moving. I can actually say the same and I'll bring it back. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> can, I, can I ask you, is there anything no. that you would like to say to each other individually? Did you notice the about them over the two weeks? Can you eat so much? Have you lost them again, Lily? <laughs> <laughs> It's on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go. Whatever you can say off camera, you can say on camera. I just thought the whole team had their own individual talents. But, but that's what I'm saying. Is there anything that they Go, can can you each other in the Kale was a good cook. Kale and Sean and Stella was lovely. What was that? Kale and Sean and Stella was lovely. They probably never cooked anything in there. Well, they did that. I like to say. Right, Kelly, what is it? Do you love him? Yeah. And Arthur. She liked Arthur was really good when he was reading out. I thought it was brilliant because he was really nervous and he really Looking in. I'll get him. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Lily, how did you feel about that, Anne Marie? Great. What? Very good. What do you think you can do in your centre or your community? With the groups of young people that come in? Like, just do more cross community and just keep it, like, spread the word. Like, everyone tell them to go into school and, like, tell their teachers and just get it right. Um, to show younger people that, younger kids, that what they think of Protestants or Catholics isn't the same, we can show them how our, our friendship has grown from this programme and just, like, show them how strong we've got and how we don't think the same as we did before we joined. Uh, we could teach the young people uh, like, of the Catholic community and the Rhino I could uh, to take Protestants, like, try and get them to know Protestants instead of using the stereotype that goes about that they're all black people compared to us and they're really just the same. Just do what we do in the eye, Catholic Protestants, sitting in the same room, just talking, chillaxing. Divided. <laughs> well, we're not really divided, but like, even the young ones are there, the Catholic club around and Catholic dirt, they know they're Protestants. They say they hate Protestants, but they can walk past and there'll be no difference. So we just learn that there isn't really a big difference. Kill them, kill you, please. No. <laughs> From being in America, I've like, had an idea of like, we can do more for our community. Like, we could work in soup kitchens and help the people who have not got much as others. Uh, as a group of 10, I'd like to, whenever we're working together for the next year, if hopefully the two clubs get uh, re-embedded for next year's course, that we can help the next 10 to come along and make it easier for them. Because it was our first time, so it would be easier for us to explain to Emmons uh, what it's all about and how easy it really is and we'll be able to get along with other, the other community. Well, and what do you think they would be? The Jews would need to make them as aware of before they go. Just the like the way you're going to be living and the things you're going to do, and uh, just all the I don't know, like all the activities you might be able to do and stuff like that. As a group of ten, I want to like show like my friends and my, especially my community that we're all not that different, and probably Catholics can get along a bit better. You know? I don't know what to say. <laughs> don't please go. Oh, the thing I want to take back to my community is um, to not take everything for granted and to make people aware that what people say about people from a different religion isn't always true. Uh, I talk back that the Protestant community aren't, aren't so different from us and it was just easy to get along with, along with and uh, since we there hasn't been no debate between our group and we're still socialised with each other. That's good. Cool. I talk back how stupid the peace wall is and it shouldn't be defended to communities and I'm hoping to support the campaign to take down the 50th anniversary. So how did America help you realise that? Because whenever you're living here, like, you don't really know it, but whenever you're, they ask you about your community, you just talk about a 100 foot wall to fed two communities, it just sounds really stupid. Fuck. Excuse me. I don't know how much it is. Um, I took back the whole idea of like everyone coming together because when I was at the high school there were so many people from like different backgrounds, different cultures, just going to the same school and socialising with each other. So like, I'm just, I just want to put that in my community and so everyone from the Protestant and Catholic community can come together and just be friends. Um, what I wanted to bring back with me is... No, <laughs> not care. Um, building stronger friendships with different religions and not caring if they're Catholic or not, just all staying friends together. <laughs>